What's up guys, Oscar Gomez here from Master Automotive Training, smartautotraining.com. It's Tuesday guys, guess what it is? Tech Tip Tuesday. So on today's Tech Tip Tuesday, we're gonna be talking about under the hood labels or ECS labels. Go ahead and stay tuned guys, Tech Tip Tuesday starts right now. So I always get asked, on the under the hood label, is everything on the label supposed to be on the car or vice versa? Well the answer is, not all the time. So what happens is sometimes vehicles are gonna have certain emission components that not all manufacturers use. Give you an example, an EGR. Not everybody uses an EGR, so it's gonna be listed. Not everybody uses air injection, so it's gonna be listed. Not everybody uses a three-way cat. Well, we do now, but before it was a two-way cat and a three-way cat, so it's gonna be listed. Thermostatic air cleaner, not everybody uses it so it's going to be listed okay so if you see it on the label one thing you want to do is make sure you can verify that the component is actually present on the vehicle the one thing i am going to share with you guys is a lot of manufacturers are listing egr under the uh, monitors unfortunately the vehicles don't have egr it's incorporated to the exhaust cam and we use the exhaust cam lobe in order to modify the opening time of the actual exhaust side thus simulating an egr so whenever you're looking at the under the hood label, always make sure that you pay attention to a few things. Engine size, most important. Second thing, California or federal. What emission components does it have? Then verify if those components are actually present. I always tell my students is if the label's there, use that as your primary source. Don't go out and try to look at one of the emissions books because that can cause some more confusion. And as always guys, a good technician is always learning. Signing off here, Oscar Gomez, smartautotraining.com. Oh,